And game two of the TNT doubleheader is Miami at Denver. Obviously, a rematch of last year's NBA Finals. Uh, he might be looking forward to this one, but uh, what are we thinking here? Does he have a better chance this time? I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I understand the revenge factor, but you know Denver has won nine of the last ten meetings between these two teams? I did not know that. Game two of last year's Finals was the only time the Heat had won. And that was a situation where, like, the Heat just – Flipped the switch in the fourth quarter, I believe, and came out of nowhere. Denver really should have had that, should have won that game. I think it's Denver right now or pass for me. They've won and covered now four straight, just smoked Sacramento, and they took care of business against the Warriors on Sunday in a nice comeback fashion. So they're starting to find their rhythm. And and I think when you play that deep into June, and obviously Miami did too in the playoffs, I think there's a little bit of a hangover effect. Hangover is a strong word. You just are kind of spent, and you never had a, a, a hard recharge. And so I think both these teams struggled. And remember, Miami, I think in January or maybe December, had seven straight losses. Like, there were some, there were some, some valleys before the peaks. So I think both these teams are playing well. Butler's been playing pretty well. I mean, they've won, they've won five straight, covered eight straight. So the Heat are on a nice roll. I just think it, they hit their wall with Denver. Denver's just at their best. I'm not sure there's a team that can beat them because Jokic, there's no one who hang with him and it's not really bam at a bio he's excellent but there's really no answer for Jokic. so i think i think denver's gonna want the revenge to your point but i think ultimately excuse me miami will but i think ultimately it's denver fair enough we're rolling with the nuggets that's a prime time play